service by making it a complicated alphabet soup. Well, and also I think focusing on the method of delivery is not necessarily the value proposition. So um, I do believe that virtual reality is the killer app for mental health. Mm -hmm. And, um, but we see people attracted to our product who would never know that they want a VR device. So it is an opportunity for us to bundle the hardware with the software and reach uh, a new audience with technology, but it's really just the current method of delivery. So much like Riot, um, if they put a mobile game product out, they're not a mobile company. And I think you have to look at it that way. We're gonna be back here five years from now and there'll be less verticality in the method of device and delivery and a much more seamless movement from one environment to the other. I mean, think about how mobile games have, uh, or mobile content delivery has progressed. Uh, I think we're still in the very clunky Nextel <laughs> cell phone, you know, that picture that everybody laughs at. Um, but I'm excited about an environment that takes these kinds of devices and integrates them with biosensors mm -hmm. and getting, you know, real-time data. The innovation that will happen with the convergence of technology, it w we won't have a name for it that we're currently using. What would you call that device? Hmm? Well, you know, I think that both your observations are pretty astute. Uh, from our perspective, it's all about storytelling and having the experience be great. Mm -hmm. I will consider the market has arrived when somebody recommends that I play a title or that I watch something right. and they don't tell me that it's a VR title. Mm -hmm. They just say, oh, well, you're just going to look it up and find out and mm -hmm. you're obviously going to have a way to consume it. And if not, you're going to get a way to consume it. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of the destination. right? And the route there is simplification of technology and betterment of content. right? Because content drives technology. Uh, and something that a lot of people continue to forget. Convenience and content are really what I think drives technology. Uh, and I think that, you know, the, we have, we're at the beginning of the climb, you know? Well, and I think the native property of immersion is what we're all attracted to. And that can be delivered in many different forms. I think I still fail miserably to explain VR at cocktail parties. <laughs> I usually end up just flailing my body out, you know, yeah. in crazy ways, trying to explain, oh, you can do this and this and, you know, just try to explain it. By getting animated, that's really end up, yeah. pretty much what I end up doing. But we make mostly games. We do some non-games. But there's way more applications for VR besides games. I think there's a lot going on here. And just from seeing Abrash's predictions with what they're doing at Facebook in the next five years,